Hey, I'm Jeff. I'm Brad. And today on Dude Food, we're making the Manly Meat Lovers Square Pie. So to start off with the pizza, we're going to start off with, um, with some bread flour. You want to use a high gluten bread flour that's probably about 13 and a half, 14 percent in, uh, in protein content. Yep. You want that because you want it to develop uh, gluten that's very strong and that, can, that, has, and that, and that, and that makes a nice consistency for the uh, pizza dough. Yeah, it's going to give that pizza a nice bite when, when, you, when you go to eat it. So we're going to put the flour in. We're going to add the water in here. We're going to add the salt, the sugar, the olive oil, and then we're going to add some fresh yeast. You know, we, we like to use fresh yeast. It has a lot more flavor. But if you have dry yeast, what's the conversion? You do like... So you would take whatever that is and divide, and divide it by, by three, three. Because so. dried yeast is more potent. So you want to start this on speed one because you don't want to get flour all over the kitchen. And then as it starts to incorporate, you want to start to turn the speed up. And what you're looking for this to do is to pull all the flour and put in, in the water to come together and form a nice tight ball. And you want to work this for about seven to ten minutes. So this has been going for about eight minutes. So we're going to take it out. We're going to put it in the bowl to rise. We're going to wrap this in plastic and, and let it rise for, for about an hour, hour and a half until it doubles. So we're going to, we're going to make the pizza sauce. It's, a, it's an uncooked sauce. Um, it's basically raw when it goes on the pizza and then it's cook, it cooks in the oven uh, on top of the pizza. So we have a little bit of uh, canned tomatoes here. You can use any brand you want. We like San Marzano tomatoes, but if you find like one that you like, use that. It's all up to, it's all up to you and what you like. So we're just going to get in here with our hands and crush them up. All right. All right. So we got a little chili flake. That goes in. A little bit of dried oregano. That goes in. Let me take that away. You put oh, you that in chop, there? Chop <laughs> We have a little bit of uh, all of it. Different schools of thought, yeah, man. You know, being a native of New Jersey, we uh, I like the flavor of garlic, and I actually like to put it in the food, as opposed to uh, Jeff. He likes to put a whole clove in there and then remove it. It's all up to you. It's all what you want. A little olive oil, and then we're gonna add a little salt to that. Season it up. I'm gonna wash my hands. So my bread's doing that. The dough's. It's been about an hour and a half. The dough's nice. Nicely risen, it's about doubled in size. It's got nice air bubbles in it. You know, we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom of the tray. You wanna put a little bit of olive oil down so, so you can spread the dough out easy. So you wanna, you wanna be careful when taking the dough out. You don't wanna rip it apart too much. Just kinda wanna let it fall down on the, on the tray. And again, it might take, you might have to press it out let it sit for 15 minutes to kind of re relax that gluten again and then spread it out again. Yeah, because you're working it again. The more you work it, the tighter the dough is going to get and the harder it's going to be to press it out. For the meat lover's pizza, of course you have to have meat. So we're going to talk about the meats a little bit. Um, at the restaurant, we make all our own cured meats, all our prosciutto, salami, copa, uh, culatella, uh, brazala, all kinds of stuff. We have two things that we made here. We have a black pepper salami and we have our copa. Copa comes from the neck. Just cured like a, like a ham would be and then hung for anywhere from eight months to, to a year. Then we have pancetta, which is basically an unsmoked Italian bacon. Hot dogs. You know, people might think this is a little bit weird, but actually, when we travel through <laughs> Italy, you, they see actually, will, you will actually see a lot. They have a pizza called the Americano, yeah. the Americano, which is a pizza with french fries or hot dogs on it. You know, so we're not going to put french fries it in seems, the pizza, it seems a little we're going to go with the hot dogs. <laughs> it seems a little bit like an American thing, but it's actually, they actually do it in Italy. So this is all stretched out. Once it reaches all the corners, what you want to do is just cover it with a cloth towel and let it rise until it gets doubled, about another hour, hour and a half, in a warm place. You ready? Do it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. You're smearing that on there? Smear it on there, right? <laughs> and you want to try to avoid breaking any of the air bubbles. I mean, they're going to break a little bit, but you kind of want to keep all that air in there. Can you so use your hands? You can. You want to get in there? Use your hands? Yeah, Spray. You might be able to use all this. Yeah, there. Right. Let's see how it the meat or the cheese? Not nah, cheese, cheese. Cheese. And it's just it's shredded mozzarella. What else could you use? I mean, yeah, you could is, use the shredded mozzarella. You could put shredded cheddar. You could put provolone. You could put Swiss. You know, when you're talking about a pizza like this, you, you have all these different kinds of meat, but
but you don't necessarily want to overload it, load it with too much meat. I mean, you can even. I mean, I, I've made this, put it in the fridge, and then eat it the next day, and yeah. it's still awesome. It's, it's awesome cold. So. So we're gonna throw this in the oven about 425 degrees for about how long? 20 minutes. 20 to 25 minutes. All right, man. It's been about 25 minutes. Let's take a look. Oh. Look at that. Oh, yeah, maroon. <laughs> Beautifully golden brown. Look at that. Take this out. It smells awesome, huh? You know, all that, all that, all that fat from the oh. from the meat gets in there and mixes with the sauce and the cheese. Then you take your scissors, the this, traditional way. This is way. the way to cut it. A little crooked, but okay. I mean, you can see the the fluffiness and still that crispy bottom. It's like the perfect consistency. Hot, man. Good though. Oh. oh, wow. So here it is. This is our version of Meat Lover's Pie. Thanks for watching Dude Food. And please subscribe. Remember Snake Wine? Click here to watch the guys and girls at the Nerdist chug it down in a game of Snake Wine Flip Cup. Watch Spike Middleson get down at a rowdy Raven's tailgate, then barbecue up a dish fit for a super Sunday. Miranda Singh stops by to give Noah some questionable advice on how to kick off a healthy 2013. Watch Kevin Gillespie hunt down a Kansas City monster. Burnt Finger Barbecue's four pound bacon behemoth. Subscribe for more free tasted treats.